Hello, Gemini. It's time for your 2020 predictive reading. So we're going to see what could possibly come up for you for the year 2020. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, right? This can resonate with you. Good deal? This cannot. Not a big deal either, you know. Who gives a shit? This is predictive anyway, so it might not even happen. You never know. You never know. Anyway, let's see. You're coming out of 2019. Gemini is the Empress Reverse. Extremely nettled and probably bitter at everybody. That's fair. Welcome to the club, motherfucker. Anyway, let's see. Well, you probably already hate everybody before I did. So, you know, doesn't matter. Let's see. For your first quarter, we have luxury, the four of cups. Some rest and relaxation, I feel like. In the second quarter, we have the prince of wands. Yeah, that's the king. That's supposed to be the king of wands. Um, Leo Sag Aries could be Leo for sure, but someone or some energy is just like, uh, we're gonna burn everything to the fucking ground. Or someone goes into man child mode, it just becomes demanding. Or there's this energy of being bullied around. Uh, third quarter, three of wands, victory. This is not. Fourth quarter. Three of Swords, Reverse. Not as sorrowful as one would think. Like, there's probably heartbreak, but it's not as bad as what you think it could be in the last quarter of the year. So there's some hope. Anyway, so this first quarter over here, right? Let me shuffle this a little more real quick because I didn't before I started. I like making my stuff as random as possible. Okay, so. Luxury with the Four of Cups, right? Turmoil and disorder, this is not. It starts out pretty good this first quarter, right? So it's not so fucking bad. You know, nothing's going on. But there is some indecision about what is and is not balance, poise, symmetry, shit like that. It's got your mind wondering, like, what the fuck? There's something wrong here. Do I need to start some psycho shit or nah, you know? I don't know. I feel like there's a sense of paranoia in that. I'm dropping one more because it's like... Why are you coming out the Empress but everything's chill? I don't know, it's like... Mm, some missed opportunity or chance for a cups reverse. What the fuck? You, like, you have the, uh, like, you have the four of cups upright, but then it goes reverse? Hmm. Let's see. Second quarter. This King of Wands reverse, or Prince of Wands reverse, is also the King of Cups reverse. Just downright meh. There's a lot of shit feelings here with this person. Like, very, very much so. Like, they're very annoyed. But it's like it's an end to that behavior, too. I really feel like this is a person who plays a significant role in the uh, second quarter of the year. You know. I'm not sure how for you. As someone who talks a lot of shit and takes their feelings out, I feel like, on people and can see what they're doing and knows exactly what they're doing, there might be an end to that situation for some reason. Like abruptly cuts off or some shit. Not one more, cause I'm nosy. Or two, whatever. Um, this person might have been a mentor or a sage, but I feel like they were very weak in whatever it is that they were always up to. 
Okay, so third quarter. This three of wands where there's no victory, I feel like. Like, there's no potential to wait for one anyway. Um, it's a little bit of unearthly and mystical shit. Like, someone's, um, could be this king of cups scenario over here. Um, it's like they don't let you know what they're thinking. Yeah. Just to keep themselves happy. Or there's a sense of not really knowing where someone's coming from emotionally. But I feel like it's also a sense of it's better that way. You know, if that makes sense, the Three of Swords reverse. No sorrow in this heartbreak. In the fourth quarter, someone no longer feels trapped or confined by something. Possibly by... by like, they're not confined or whatever, but they feel like there was nothing there either. At least y'all do, anyway. Where it feels like there was no investment to be had in this shit. It's almost like realizing you were trapped and confined, but it wasn't worth the price. It may have something to do with that fire sign and the king cups up above. How you're entering 2020 with production and reaping. I think that you're, you're going to be surrounded by somebody who tries to rain on your parade. And you're just watching the developments with them. But I'm not sure. It's like very, very odd. Alright, so. This first quarter up here. We got adjustment. Justice's card could be dealing with a Libra. Someone who stands in what is and is not justified. There might be a lot of like weighing the pros and the cons for you for sure. Trying to figure out how to administer what is the right thing to do, Gemini. In your second quarter, you're trying to come out of failure. Are you feeling like you're stuck somewhere with something that you don't want to be stuck with? For your third quarter of the year you will make some gains you will gain some coins you might be feeling like you know you're successful by yourself in this maybe you're hiding your emotions some with it too because of this king of wands who comes in and just be like i have to have things my way you know this last quarter Something didn't come. Something didn't come together the way you thought it would, either with the person, with the thing, with the group of people, whatever. What backfire? It's like something backfired, or at least that's what they said. Anyway. At least that's what it feels like. I'm gonna have one more because I'm curious. Fuck it. I'm nosy. Let's be nosy together. The Ace of Discs once again, an authentic author. Like this other one was like, um, what? Wealth, aspiring. It is not. It feels like it, it, it was almost. Like, well, I need, well, no, I didn't need to drop another one, but still, I did it anyway. Um, but it's like, it didn't come together, like, two people couldn't mesh out what they wanted to do with this Ace of Pentacles at the end of the year. And I think that's what you were trying to do, but it's like someone else wasn't successful with you. How are you leaving 2020, my dear Gemini? With no interference. Whatever it is, you did not let this ending right here cause you to be interfered with. So, you're very receptive by the end of the year and you're figuring some stuff out. So that's how your year's gonna go for 2020. Maybe for some of you. Probably not all of you, but you know, whoever it goes with. 
Anyway, love your faces. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.